Todd Zuckerman just the other day made a really beautiful long post about Tony Williams. And he started getting into details about his experiences being there, being near the drum set and feeling his playing, talking about how this generation, it, like we're getting so much for consumption. That's why the drum festival is great because yeah. we're feeling it and we're there. But so much of what we're consuming as our knowledge is coming through a screen, which is just uh, you know, a fraction of, of what that must have been like. I know you're a huge Tony Williams fan. Uh, yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about how that time period affected you to be there in the moment doing those things and why we need to look back on that stuff for future generations and, and the drummers now that are coming up? Well, I can be a lot more general about it than than just talking about Tony Williams or the, the drummers that I was in the room with mm -hmm. uh, coming up. And I did have those life-changing experiences of being in the room with Tony Williams and uh, Billy Cobham and Lenny White and, and those were the drummers and Buddy Rich, you know, drummers that were really hugely influential to me. Let me just say this about the whole thing. Mm. When, when people um, watch a video, they're hearing a recording and they're hearing a drum sound that has gone through microphones and has been mixed or maybe just recorded you know, live at a gig or something. Right. But they're hearing it through uh, headphones or through you know, the speakers of their computer or whatever, <laughs> yeah. or, 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 uh, or a speaker system. Sure. So it doesn't matter how good your speaker system is. Mm -hmm. There's no substitute for sitting in the room with live mm -hmm. drums, live music. Yeah. And and really that that's that's my my point of that is um, when you're in the room now you're hearing my drums as they really sound. Yes. You're not hearing a drum sound. That's right. You're hearing my drums. Yeah. You're hearing the cymbals. You're hearing how I balance the bass drum to the ride cymbal to the hi hat to the snare drum. You know, you're hearing it in real time coming off the stage and especially if you come hear me with vital information you're we're in a club mm -hmm. it's anywhere from 100 seats to 250 300 seats at the most right you know right. so you're really hearing and experiencing the molecules in the room move you know and you're That's so intimate and you're you're, really, you're hearing the, the the sound of the piano Yep. coming off the stage and the you know the guitar and the bass and saxophone whatever it is and you're hearing how the musicians blend so if if you have in, in your mind that you want to be a musician there's just no substitute for uh, for live music to, to be in the room and experience what what it feels like and sounds like and what what a musician projects to the audience like like a you were at a, if I was at a live show of Tony Williams and then somebody recorded that and I saw it, it would pale in comparison to what it was like to oh, be yeah. in, in the room with it. I can only imagine. So that it's so crucial to experience live music and to really get out of, go out of your way to go see it because you can be home and watching YouTube or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. like, but... You know, Antonio Sanchez is playing at the local club. Well, you got to go see him. Absolutely, room, you know. Absolutely, so you, you just don't don't stay home when it, it's a situation like that. There's no excuse. So, People are staying home more though. Now. Absolutely, and yeah, and they're really it's it can change your life. You know, it it will change your life to be in the room, and and know like hear all that. Like I said, but like for instance, like when I play for an audience I was in a room with Buddy Rich and I know how he made me feel you know I know yeah. I like I felt a certain way experience him like experiencing Elvin Jones in the room or Tony Williams or any of these you know great drummers that I was in the room with so it gives me an idea of how to project ah, a certain kind of energy. That's interesting. You know, you can't you can't get it just from listening to a record. Absolutely. You know, because that's our. You know, when I was, uh, you know, teenager and early twenty, we had records. Okay, you can get a lot of information from a record. Sure. But it's not the same. Yeah. As when you're in the room and really seeing how these 
these musicians project to the audience and it, it gives you a lot of in, input of, you know, do you want to be a beacon like that and, and be able to put out that kind of energy? Yeah. And so uh, I wouldn't have been able to do what I do without a lot of hearing a lot of live music. And I still go out as often as I can to yeah. hear musicians play. Well, it sounds like Steve's telling us to get off her ass and go watch some live tunes. <laughs> go a- <laughs> and then go watch theater. Yeah, yeah. Don't just watch movies. You yeah, know, yeah, go, go, sure. <laughs> go see live theater. Don't just look at art in a book. Yeah, go yeah. to the museum. It's yeah. like radically different. Yeah, absolutely. if you're looking at like you know piece of art and you're standing like, in front of it, there's no comparison. Yeah, because I mean now you're introducing like a culture too, because all these people are gathering to one place to experience something that they all really enjoy too, right? Yeah. So. You and you have a, you people. have an influence on the musicians that are on stage, right? Yeah, it's like there's a there's a, a energy that happens, yeah, a back and forth that happens. You're influencing the actual one in a lifetime, one time unique performance, yeah. 